morning my lovelies how are you doing i am just unpacking my shopping so i was going to run some errands today and to paul told me <laughs> this morning oh you can't go out yet we've got supermarket delivery he did supermarket order online <laughs> we don't often do it you know i've told you before paul is the one that goes to supermarket he just loves it <laughs> i don't understand why but i'm glad he really likes going to supermarket i don't know why because he doesn't cook he has no idea about cooking so one thing i think is because he loves shopping and two is because my husband has a very very sweet tooth and i want him to be with me for as long as possible to get all together i want him to be healthy <laughs> so i when when i used to shop in supermarkets i wouldn't buy him chocolate biscuits you know and i think this was his little plan that if he starts going he can buy all the rubbish that he wants and um, but mind you i can't see any biscuits mind you he bought them the other day so that's why the only thing is that they deliver this stuff in like big crates but none of it was in bags not bagged up so and i didn't want him to carry it inside because he asked me if i want him to bring inside and i always feel a bit horrible you know i don't like things like that anyway because like i don't like people doing things for me <laughs> i think that's why i don't have a cleaner um although i don't think there's anything wrong with that but that's just how i feel and i think oh my god he had to carry these crates to my door i don't want him then carrying it inside so i was just unpacking it on my doorstep just checking it all on the floor <laughs> right what else um i've got some vegetables here which i'm very glad that he ordered because i don't eat that many vegetables and that often you know with my bloating and everything i'm still suffering with that um but i've really fancied a vegetable soup and my vegetable soup is just green so i use savoy cabbage cauliflower broccoli and french beans and i chop them into big chunks and i add some some potatoes sometimes and i used to add butter beans but with my bloating and all that i can't do the butter beans but i absolutely love butter beans and i really fancied vegetable soup I'm fine if I just have a bowl but the problem with me is I love soup so much that if I cook a big pan I will be eating it all day so I think what I'm going to do is I will cook big pan but I will I've got little little plastic containers that is just like one portion of soup and I'm going to freeze it as well because if it's just sitting there I will eat it and i don't liquidize my soups i like them chunky so when i eat it i can actually feel what i'm eating so yes i'm gonna cook that as well and i think paul i see paul <laughs> ordered minced pork and mushroom which means he wants me to make cutlets the polish cutlets got let him yell on it <laughs> so i think i'm gonna make those today got some eggs because we eat a lot of eggs yeah not that much stuff really milk did i tell you that i have some errands to run i think i said that first in night but i have to wait for this delivery and right sorry i know you're gonna tell me just shut up woman <laughs> i was planning to go pop into that next shop to see the chairs i don't know if to go there because it's a bit of a drive i'll see how i feel later once i've unpacked it i haven't eaten anything yet what time is it it's half 10 or something like that 
Right, I better carry on unpacking this. Okay, so I've done everything that I needed to do and I am going to look at this blinking chairs. That was my plan anyway today. I'll be just annoyed if they don't have them in stock so I can see them going all that way. I'm going to Cambly. There is a huge um, next there and huge Marks and Spencers. And this week I have another big job to do. I need to clear out my cupboards. So you know I have um, in my hallway, the whole wall is just built in cupboards and they are great, have so much storage. But the problem is the more storage you have, the more rubbish you have. And you know when sometimes there is something, well, where do I put it? Everything gets shoved in there. And especially one of them, I keep my wigs in one of them. Um, but in one of them where I have like our first aid kit with medicines and stuff, that one is really messy. So I'm planning to tackle that one. And then I have a small cupboard in a hallway upstairs that I keep like bathroom and cleaning stuff. Can you see me? <laughs> there I am. Um, and that one is getting a bit messy. So I need to do that. And I have to be in the mood for that, but I have to plan things, you know? I hate surprises. <laughs> I need to plan everything so this is in my plan because I really like organizing you know I I love um, boxes boxes to put boxes in so um, yeah I'm going to do that yeah these chairs I'm sure you're sick of them as well hearing about them but I have told you now I have a bit of an obsessive personality <laughs> So when I get something into my head, I obsess about it all the time. So get it out of my system and I will be fine. I don't have addictive personality. I think this is a bit two different things, obsessive and addictive, because I don't really get addicted to things. So even if I get obsessed with something, it can last for a long time or a very short time. Um, and I'm also, there is no in between, I'm all in or all out. So do you remember when I bought in lockdown that 3D painting? I was so obsessed with it for weeks, sitting there every moment I had, uh, to the point that I then had to go to osteopath to fix my back, <laughs> because it's this, you sit in this position for so long. And then I haven't touched it since since I've hurt my back so that I think that's more of an obsessive personality right I let you know how I got on later Well, this was funny. So, um, I looked around the furniture a bit and there was no dining chairs or dining tables, just sofas, cabinets. There was upstairs, furniture upstairs, but he said it was just bathroom and children's bedroom. 
so I walked out I didn't go upstairs I came in a car and then I thought what if they are upstairs so I went back in and they were so you saw me filming it uh, they were not exactly the ones that I wanted they were the ones with rollback but the two fabrics you saw on there were the ones the the light neutral and the mid neutral and you know what they were not very nice they were so uncomfortable and the fabric or that woven fabric of mid neutral didn't really look and feel like a good good quality so I am so glad that I did see him because I almost went home I was already in the car and I thought I came all this way what if they are upstairs and I found the Bath and Body Works bit as well I know that uh, they sell it online but uh, in my local next shop they don't sto stock it and they have Victoria's Secret here as well so I haven't been here for years honestly I wouldn't be lying if I said that I haven't been here six years at least so now I know where to come for my candles I didn't buy any because I still have plenty I used to buy them on eBay you know um, but if I need some I can always come here the only thing they don't sell which I really want is their you know little concentrated room sprays I really like those I still have a couple left I think um, they are very expensive here in the US they are so much cheaper it's ridiculous but it was good to know and I bought a pair of boots <laughs> So I've been looking for a pair of like beige, light beige cream boots. You know I have that really old pair which I love from uh, River Island but they are quite chunky and quite high heel so they don't go with every outfit. I really would like pointed toe, small heel and like knee height but I can't find them, find any like that. But I found these next, 45 pounds and they are so nice you know i wear so many um beige neutral outfits in the winter and i didn't have a pair of shoes that are not too dressy and not too sporty if you know what i mean and these are all like in between and they are very very comfortable when i put them on i thought because you know these days comfort is everything so yeah so that was good so I am considering a successful trip I've got a nice pair of boots and I know not to buy these chairs honestly I can't believe that they cost that much they didn't feel nice at all I prefer my hard chairs than those ones so it was a good job that I came okay my lovelies I'm gonna go home now and cook those cutlets call them cutlets they are called called kotlety in Polish but what they really are is burgers like burgers but made out of minced pork and you I always fried finely chopped mushrooms and onions to it and egg and all sorts of um, seasoning and I very slowly shallow fry them so I'm not going to be doing a tutorial of how I cook it because I get criticized for <laughs> everything else. I don't want to be criticized for my cooking because I've done a few cooking videos and everybody had something to say. I'm not a cooking channel. I don't claim to be a great cook. I don't really enjoy cooking that much. So yeah, I'm not doing any cooking tutorials. Oh yes, and I have to cook that soup, big pan of soup, so I can freeze it. Right, I'm gonna go home. Look what has just arrived. I got from Sigma, San Pia, Disney Beauty and the Beast. It's just beautiful. Sigma just does the best Pia. So, look at all these petals. You get here, Beauty and the Beast eyeshadow palette oh god 
gorgeous. Then here looks like bronzer blush and highlighter. Some lip product brushes. This looks like a new brush. It's lovely this brush. And then you've got a bag to go with it. It's just gorgeous. Looking forward to doing a video with it. Beautiful. Good morning my lovelies. I'm just getting ready to film a video. I've just washed my hair and dried it and I wanted to talk to you about this. You probably remember I bought it a while ago just a little sample size. This is the Aveda Formolient. It's like a watery mousse for body and the Pure Abundance Style Prep. And I forgot all about it. So I put some, I put the formolient in my roots because as you can see, I've got huge roots. So my hair gets flatter and flatter. Um, so yeah, it was lacking body. So I've used this in my roots and this all over and this really works, you know. I haven't done my crimping yet or nothing but it already my hair has like more volume. So these two are definitely good. I must say I can sort of feel it in my hair. It's not sticky but it's not like really clean smooth hair. It is better once I've straightened it. But I suppose that that's what has to happen for your head to have some body. Um, it has to have some sort of feeling because when it's all smooth and and clean, it just looks flat, doesn't it? Also, I just bought these two from Kayali. These are quite new from her wedding collection. It's the Velvet Santal 35 and the silk santal i first bought the little samples that's why i love about huda beauty website you can buy little samples or you can buy these which are 10 ml little 10 ml bottles or you can buy the full size and these are so cute it's quite a lot of 10 ml is quite a lot and these are so pretty i couldn't decide which one i prefer more i think i prefer the um velvet santa which is supposed to be i suppose more masculine but to me oh it's lovely um so i bought the small ones first to decide which one i prefer and then I buy a big one if I still like it after a while you know sometimes you spray perfume on a day and you really like it but then after a few days you don't like it anymore oh the silk one is pretty too oh I don't know I like them both yes I haven't done I've got I've got still so many um, those sample sets of perfume. I I supposed to do the commodity commodity the archive collection. Oh, what else have I got? I just haven't had any time honestly to to do these videos. Right, I better finish doing my hair and go and make that video hello my lovelies how are you i've got something exciting to show you so teddy blake just gifted me another bag which is lovely because it's my birthday coming up and it's just beautiful it's the color that i've wanted for a very long time let me just show you it comes in a lovely box And it's right inside here. They always come with a really good quality dust bag. Ta-da! This is Ava 9 inches in fuchsia. And this is the color that I've always wanted. 
it's a cool pink, not a warm pink. I think I have a little crossbody bag from Teddy Blake that was in pink, but the pink is a bit more muted and and warm. And this is called proper fuchsia pink. I absolutely love it. And I've also started really getting much smaller bags because these days you hardly put anything in it like we don't have the big wallets that we used to have all I have is a little card holder actually I will show you in a minute what goes in it let me just show you Kim my old Kim because it's similar I've got Kim in 11 inches so this is Kim and this is 11 inches but as you can see the opening mechanism is different so I love this bag but I find it a bit of a hassle to open you know you have to turn these go like this then open it right so to me accessibility is very important so like this bag is not like my everyday bag it's when I'm dressed up and going somewhere that, not like shopping that I have to get in and out of the bag it's beautiful very well structured with the feet it doesn't have anything at the back Ava on the other hand has a zip at the back which is very good because you can put like your parking ticket um, I don't know, phone wouldn't fit in here but even your little card holder you could put in there and how Ava opens is much easier you just flip this and that's it and it's open so as accessibility goes this one is easier to get into. This one comes also in um, 11 inches and I think maybe even bigger. It comes with a strap. Let me show you inside. They are just so beautiful. You have inside like the matching suede. It's beautiful and it's plenty big enough. I'm going to bring some stuff in a minute to show you what goes in there. But while we're talking about accessibility, my favorite is probably Lola. So remember I got Lola, was it beginning of this year or last year? And I thought from the picture that Lola, this Lola was, was fuchsia pink, but it turned out to be raspberry. Still a beautiful color, but look at the difference. Okay, but Lola, is very this is I think 11 inches is it like this yeah Lola is really easy it's got just one of these and it's actually really huge inside so, um, Lola might come even in a smaller size as well um, so yes I love the look of Lola as well and it's the easiest for me to get into I'm sure there are um, other styles of bags that are easy to get into at Teddy Blake but from the ones that I like I think Lola is the best one to get into but Ava is also now easy to get into because of just flipping these and he also has magnetic closure he has a z another zip inside and a pocket so it has a zip here and a pocket here so it's really lovely now i don't know if you know you should always check the description box i have a like a lifetime discount code for teddy blake uh, which is 30 dollars off any full price bag if they are on sale for any reason then you i don't think you my my discount code will work I don't get any commission for it, um, these are never sponsored videos, they, now and again they just gift me a bag and give me that discount. So that discount is always there, but uh, they are going to be having nice big sales Halloween, 
Halloween sales so have a look because you will probably get more discount than with the um, $30 that I can give you so look around Halloween and obviously then there will be Black Friday sales but if you for any reason buying a bag when they don't have these sales on you can always use my discount so let me get I, I show you what I normally have in my bag okay so what I ever have in my bag I just normally have this card holder this one is actually from Teddy Blake as well they do those I have my little Gucci purse that will go in there but I hardly ever have it with me tissues car keys phone um, I have the Ilios little handbag travel mirror and because it's so flat it should go in there and usually a lipstick and a lip liner so let's see how all this goes in so I will put that mirror in here which I don't have to really have my card can go in this pocket here my lipstick and lip liner I can put in this zip in the zip pocket then my phone my keys and tissues now um, I could have a pair of sunglasses as well in here although a lot of my sunglasses oh hold on I need to put uh, put my rings back on I've been to the gym yesterday so I took my rings back um, off and I never put them back on um, sunglasses all my sunglass cases are huge one of my Gucci ones is so big they could be handbag of its own so when I go out with sunglasses because it's sunny I don't usually take a sunglass case sunglasses case I have my sunglasses on or on my head but let me see one of the cases that is not too big right so this is my Gucci um, case it will go in there but I would have to rearrange it but something a bit smaller and flatter like this will for sure go yeah no problem and because I have my card thing here um, in that little I will it close let's have a look yeah there you go so it does fit quite a lot and that's all I really need I don't ever carry many things in my handbag and if I take in that out I could re easily replace it with much much tiny mirror I could still easily fit my wallet in there so I've put my wallet there and I could still put the sunglasses on the top so yeah it fits everything that I need um, obviously the 11 inch is bigger you can fit much more in it but I'm now more inclined towards small bags also because I really like wearing my bags crossbody and if they are big they are they get quite heavy right let's put this on look you can adjust it as well it's a bit awkward to clip this on just the angle of of this and the hand and this top handle right let me just take this off um, the tag suppose the look right let's close it and also you have this lock and key 
that you can't really lock this bag. I think it's more for a, I mean, it has the proper key. It's um, more for decoration than anything else. Okay, so this is what it looks like crossbody. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I'm even going to use it in the winter. I really like, um, they will look gorgeous with navy. I like, like all navy outfit with just pop of color. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so I'm really, really happy. It's like my gorgeous birthday present. Can't stop looking at it. I just love this color. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's got feet. I didn't show you that. They are made so beautifully. I feel like the weather, weather the leather is really good quality. And, um, you know, they are made in Italy. I also much prefer the grainy leather than smooth. I feel like the smooth leather can scratch more easily and also crack I don't know if it does but that's how I feel I, I really like the pebbled sort of grainy leather so yeah this is my new bag oh by, by the way on my eyes I have today Natasha Denona the glam palette let me know if you want a tutorial for this look and on my lips I have Lisa Eldridge skyscraper rose lipstick which is beautiful okay my lovelies i'm gonna finish it here i hope you enjoyed this video have a wonderful week and stay fabulous bye